Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime YouTube channel. So as you saw in last video, we uh, built an Streamlit application for spelling and grammar check. Right. So in this video, we'll we'll uh, containerize that application that we built. We'll use Docker to containerize that, and then we'll push that to Docker Hub, and in end we'll deploy that uh, on cloud. Right. So in this video, we'll start with uh, uh, Docker file. We'll write Docker file, and then we'll uh, build a Docker image, and then we'll uh, run that Docker image uh, inside a container, and then we'll push that uh, on Docker Hub, and uh, eventually we'll deploy it. So this might be uh, the second video of the series, and in third video, we'll deploy it on uh, uh, Azure Web Service. Right, so let's see that. So you can see here I am on my VS Code. Uh, let's can see app.py. So I will not be covering Docker in detail uh, in this video. Maybe later uh, I can create a Docker playlist to cover Docker from scratch. So to build a Docker image, we first need to create a Docker file. So I will create a I'll create a Docker file here. and then you have to write some instructions that you have to basically give it to docker that the, how you are going to run the run your code basically inside a container so that first start with a base image so as you know that the app is built in python okay, using python we have to first uh, load the base image from the official python repo from docker hub you can also you can also explore Docker Hub. I'll show you when I push this uh, image in the next video. So how we do it? We call it from, uh, and then we need Python. Maybe the version that we need is 3.10. That's the version that I'm using. So I'm just using uh, the base image. Uh, there are a lot of other uh, way that you can use Python uh, images, uh, basically. To create a docker image you can also use slim you can use slim buster basically those are lightweight uh, images right so but i'm going to use uh, 3.10 the next is we have to uh, excuse me to define the directory the work directory and in this case uh, let's call it app so what directory we have to add in that app so dot Slash app, which will mean the excuse me that dot app dot app, and then we have to install all the dependencies and libraries and packages that we are using in our Streamlit applications. We have to uh, define that here inside the Docker file as a run command. So it what will it, what it will do is that it will install all the dependencies. So the same way that we do so i will use pip3 here pip3 install minus iphone r requirements dot txt so there are a lot of other uh, way of using these commands inside our docker uh, file so if you want to follow the best practices you can also provide hyphen hyphen trusted source which is the pypy source that we have so the, there are ways that you can follow the best practices when you are writing a docker file but this is a very minimalistic and simple example that i have taken of right to create a docker image and to and that's why we are writing this very simple docker file and you can also comment right so let's call this a comment so i'm calling it the entry point because we have to run this streamlit applications so for streamlit the entry point is streamlit and then comma then run so this is how we run the uh, uh, streamlit applications uh, streamlit run and then the file name dot pile right so that will be my cmd okay so in end you run the cmd and call it app dot pile okay as app dot pile is my file name you can see it over here so this is a basic docker file example that you can use to at least create a docker image and run uh, and run that inside a container but this, these are not the best practices we will we will cover uh, maybe in a separate playlist uh, but for now let's go back to 
let me first save this uh, what i will do i'll go back to projects and you can see the folder here i will open the terminal inside this go close this and you can see i am inside the project directory right so how do you basically build a docker image so the command goes like this i am not using any user group that's why i have to use the command sudo every time i have to create or do any operations in docker so in in windows it is a little different in windows you need to you download docker desktop maybe to work with docker and for that you have to enable virtualization from your bios setting okay so you, you can also do that you have to enable hyper fire hyper v as well and then you have to you, know, you have to do th those operations uh, in your bios setting in in linux machines it's, it's very simple you just install uh, docker uh, with a single line of command and then you can also create a user group and assign credentials then you don't have to use sudo for that right but i'm using it so the first command goes like this so let me first show you so if i show you sudo docker images it shows that currently i don't have any docker image in my machine if you can see sudo docker images right there is no repository tag or image id nothing like that so i'll create a docker image here i'll say sudo docker build and then you give a hyphen t and then you have to give the image name so you have to create unique image name for suppose you want to create five different docker images right so you have to assign those names here right? you have to declare that so i will call it maybe text correction and then img this is this is my docker image name and then i have to also define that where is the docker file so you can see the docker file is inside the same directory that i am currently in so that's why i'm i'm putting that dot but you can also uh, put your path there if your docker file is somewhere else right in your system and then you hit enter and then it starts building it so you can see it has few steps the first step is and the pulling the uh, python base image you can see it over here and then it will create the work directory and then we'll add it and then it will run the uh, requirement.txt file to install all the dependencies in your uh, uh, docker image right and then in end it will create the entry point and then it will execute this right so it might take little time so i will fast forward this and i will back once it is done so as you can see uh, the image is being successfully built so let's see that so i'll do sudo docker images now and you can see we have one image and python is the base image that we have you know uh, we have used over here so next time whenever you build uh, any other uh, docker image where python is your base image it will not be downloaded again or it will not be installed again until you delete this one right so it will be here for any other python uh, application that we are going to containerize as well so you can see that we have text correction image uh, tag latest we can also change that tag we'll see that in the next video how we can assign different tags if we have different versions of your images then we have image id for this uh, docker image and it's created and some size right so we have used python 3.10 as a base image that that's why a size might be little maybe little big but if you have used slim or slim buster it might it might reduce okay. so how do we run now here so sudo docker run so you can see i'm not using any port because this thing it kind of binds the port automatically but if you want to use it you can also use the port you can define 8501 or 80 or 5000 and you can then map it that that we will will so we'll see that in some of the next videos for docker that will create for this i'm just running that so sudo docker run and then just pass the text correction and G. that's it and it will run your streaming application let's copy this network url go back and you can see the app is up and running right so it says spelling and grammar mistakes corrections app so i'll just do something so i'll say ai is best technology in industry 
people use this technology of white content something like that okay see if it's running you say the input text is this here is this technology industry and also had changed the industry and the best technology so it's working pretty fine right so you see your text was AI is best technology in industry where there's something wrong in this word right the spelling mistake people use this technology quite often so how the result has been generated is that AI is the best technology in the industry so you can see the technology has been corrected the, the, also the model or the junior IT library that we are using it also has uh, uh, corrected this in industry from in the industry people use this technology quite often perfect so you see if you can see this over right it's running over here on this network url if i close this okay let me show something else over to do yes so you can see when i stop this no container is running right now okay so with ps you can also find out which container is running right so we what we did in this video we created a docker image we uh, we uh, we ran that inside a container and you saw the app running I have stopped that if you see over here so in next video we'll push that uh, on the official docker hub on public repositories we'll, we'll first uh, assign some tag to that uh, image we'll create a repository over here then we'll tag it here and then we'll push that image on this docker hub repository and then you can use that uh, uh, image anywhere you want you can use that for deployment you can share that with your friends or, or even your peer if they need it the good thing about docker is that it it really helps you in production right it's not that it's, if, if configuration is a problem you know if dependencies are uh, creating some issues you can use docker uh, and you can use the container technology to containerize your applications and then you can share that and then you can use some uh, orchestration technology like Kubernetes for example to orchestrate those uh, containers right so we will cover those uh, docker and Kubernetes and other similar technology in uh, on a different playlist or in, dif in different videos right so I hope you liked it if you like this video uh, please subscribe and uh, like this video and share with your friends thank you so much